folks, we got to go have a drink at a gecko bar. And there's some ladies in there, and I don't know if they got food. I think they may. We're going to go in here and have a drink or two. And if they don't have food, then we're going to walk up and grab something to eat. But we're going to stop in there, have a couple drinks to start the day out. And it is a hot day here in Cebu City, my friends. When I say hot, it is, there's not a cloud in the sky. And it is hot as balls here. And so right here at F's what is this F Sato and then you cross over the street and the gecko bars behind this area right next to the Jollibee so we gotta wait for this light to change oh, it's like playing Frogger trying to get across this traffic all right so we held up traffic but they'll get over it. and hopefully this place is open at this hour maybe it's not but right here folks El Gecko Bar I'm gonna stop until I make friends with everybody in here and make sure they're cool with the filming but this is where we're going all right my friends so here we are we're gonna look around the El Gecko Bar and it looks like they got a live band at some some nights evidence by the band and we got a cold beer right here going on. And what's up, people? And we got a game of uh, rugby or Australian football. I can't tell them apart. And we got this lovely, beautiful lady right here. And so we got a game going on. And let me just come over here and show you around this little spot. We used to hang out here a lot. So you got a pool table in here. It's the first time I've been in this bar since probably Typhoon Yolanda. And this is where we rode out the, ma the major well, the first part of Typhoon Yolanda. Me and Doc Wayne rode it out in this bar with some ladies. Had a great time. And they also have some uh, outdoor seating at night, so you can sit out here at night and watch traffic go by. And when we came by here last night, there was like five beautiful ladies sitting out here. But it's like 1.30 in the afternoon, so we, we just got here, folks. But this place will pack out at night. But, yeah, so this is where this is where we rode out, Typhoon Yolanda, until they closed the bar down, and then uh, then we hit, kicked it back to the hotel. But this is the El Gecko Bar. There's a menu, El Gecko Bar and Grill. Looks like they've got burgers and uh, pizza. So, so let's turn our attention to this beautiful girl right here. And can you can you tell everybody one more time what your name is? Maribel. This is Maribel, and Maribel is from where are you from, Maribel? So, well, I know Cebu. <laughs> where are you from? Um, Isabel. Isabe Isabella. 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 Where's that? Okay. And she's been here for how long? One month? Yeah. Okay. And who's your friend over there? Hello. How are you? All right. So, folks, we're just chilling. I'm going to drink us a beer. And then we may actually go try out that. What's the name of that place, man? It's called Wings. Unlimited Wings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlimited Wings, Fries, and something like that. So... Don't say Jolly Bee. Don't say Jolly Bee. All right, so we have a serious question for Maribel. Can we, can we, it's a serious, it's a, this is a very serious question, okay? Are you ready for the question? Okay, here's the question. When you go to Jolly Bee, do you like chicken and rice or chicken and spaghetti? You like just chicken? Just chicken? All right. All right. Well, she's easy to get along with, folks. And and how old are you? Twenty-three. And are you single and ready to mingle? Maybe. Maybe. Folks, this lady right here is so beautiful. My goodness. All right. I'm gonna start mess. Stop messing with her because 
you know, I'm putting too much pressure on her. All right, folks. Yeah, so we're just chilling out here, and it's not but maybe a 10-minute walk from the, the Welcome Hotel. It's an easy walk to get over to this area. So we just humped it over here, but like I said, it is hot as balls out there. And luckily, when you come in here, the, the AC is kicking, the beer is cold. And again, if you're just joining me, we are at Il Gecko Bar and Grill, not too far from Mango Square. It's right down from Osmina Circle here in Cebu City in the Philippines, my friends. All right, folks, we're chilling out with two beautiful ladies. Got this beautiful lady right here chilling out. My goodness. And like I said, it's hot outside. We're probably going to hump it up to this uh, wings place. They got like unlimited wings or whatever. I want to try that out. But we definitely had to stop in here for a beer. And oh my goodness, this girl is so beautiful. My goodness. And this girl's so sweet, too. She's so sweet. I'm trying to get her to subscribe to the channel. Uh, she's watching the bikini contest. Show her, show her the uh, Santa Claus goes to the bikini contest. Pull that up. You like, you like Santa Claus? Santa Claus likes to go to the bikini contest. Yeah. Come on, who doesn't love Santa Claus? Everybody loves Santa. All right, folks, listen. If anybody's in Cebu City, okay, I want you to come to the El Gecko Bar. Okay, but I have changed this girl's name because I have named her something more appropriate. So, if you come to El Gecko Bar, I want you to find this beautiful girl. And her name is, let me tell you her new name, I just gave her a new name. Her new name is, Oh My Goodness. So, I want you to come see Oh My Goodness. And I want you to tell this girl that Marco sent you. I want you to buy her a drink, and I want you to go over to Jollibee and get her chicken and spaghetti with a side of french fries and a mango pie. And you bring that over to her, and you tell them, you tell her, this is for you, oh my goodness, and that King Marcos sent this Jollibee over here. So who is going to be the first person? First one of my friends on my channel to come meet. Oh my goodness, and bring her some Jolly Bee. I'm gonna give you a big shout out if you do. Sweet girl, my friends. And there's a Jolly Bee right across the street, so you don't you don't gotta go very far. You don't you don't gotta, gotta go very far at all, right? There's a Jolly Bee right behind me, right? Yeah. All right. So let me just give you a visual. Look, there <laughs> there is a Jolly Bee right there. So all you got to do is come over here, go to Jollibee, get that chicken and spaghetti, and then come over to El Gecko Bar and bring that Jollibee to, oh my goodness, and tell her that Marco sent you. And you'll be glad you did, my friends. Sweet girl. Okay, folks, so I'm going with number two, beer number two right here, and then we're going to go hit these wings. We got a band picking us up tonight at uh, 9 p.m. Yeah. I got a, I got a band picking us up at nine, and we got to get over to the, uh, got to get over to the ferry, and we're headed back up to Manila. You gotta love this, folks. You know when people do this, right? Stolen from, stolen from, El Gecko Bar and Grill. They used to write that shit on the, the towels at Holiday Inn. You know what I mean? So like, you know, I'm a, I'm a redneck from way back. I'm still a redneck. You don't think that I didn't have a damn closet full of hotels 
stolen from the Ramada Inn or the Holiday Inn. That was all my towels. Every one of my towels had that shit written on there. Stole, stolen from whatever cheap ass lodge that we had went to. And back then we didn't consider stealing. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I'm not a thief. But I don't know what you call it. I did have some towels that said stolen from wherever. But you know what? Here's the thing about it. Okay? Here's the thing about that. If they if they didn't have that cool shit written on them, nobody would take them. So it backfired. Because if you if you take a product, whether it's this koozie right here, or a towel, and you write stolen from the El Gecko bar on it, people are going to steal that every time because it's cool. I wasn't stealing the towels because I needed fucking towels. I was stealing towels because it was the ultimate souvenir. It said stolen from Big Joe's fucking travel lodge. You know, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. You can't buy souvenirs like that. They wouldn't even sell those as souvenirs, so you took it. You were souvenir hunting. So anybody that puts stolen from whatever, people are going to steal it. As the ultimate souvenir, not because they're thieves, because they they love your place, man. And so, I may have to steal this right here, and I don't call it stealing. It's souvenir hunting. If you you printed the shit on there, and it makes me want to keep it as a souvenir, and I'll promote your business. All right, folks, so let's recap this because this, this girl don't understand the, the power of YouTube, right? But I told her, I said, look, some of my friends, when they blow through Cebu City, they're going to come here to the El Gecko Bar. They're going to go across the street and get a chicken and spaghetti, and they're going to walk into this bar, and they're going to ask, oh, excuse me, ma'am, but are you, oh, my goodness, and she's going to say yes, and they're going to say, King Marcos sent me. And folks, you are going to be hanging out with the most beautiful girl you've ever seen. So who's the first, who is the first soldier on my channel that's going to roger up and bring, oh my goodness, some Jolly Bee? Who's the first one going to roger up? I'm just waiting to see who does it. The challenge has been set. My friends, I want you to check out the ink on this lovely lady right here. That is beautiful right there. That's great work. So can, can I ask, where, where did you get that work done? Oh, no, no face. In Thailand. Really? In Thailand? Yes. Whereabouts in Thailand? Patty? Gochan. Gochan. Gochan? Yeah. Cool. So you went to Gochan. Where else did you go in Thailand? Thailand and Bangkok. On Bangkok? Yeah. Folks, one more look at this ink right here. What, uh, do you remember what part of uh, Ko Chang over on Lonely Beach? I've heard that. Yeah. It's three years already. Yeah. Yeah, because that. You see how good a work this is, that right? That is good work, yeah. Now, it's Folks. No wonder it's in Thailand. Listen, there, there, there are strengths. I have my ex wife from here. Yeah. You covered it up? Yeah. Oh, nice. You can't even tell. Okay, so she had her ex boyfriend no, there. Boy, no. Yeah, no, it's all coy. <laughs> okay, now look, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to be an asshole when I say this, right? But when, when I saw her tattoo, I was already thinking that she got that in Thailand. Now, everybody has strengths, strengths and weaknesses. If you're thinking about getting a tattoo, you get your tattoo in Thailand. Don't get it here in the Philippines. I'm not saying that there are not some. You know, good tattoo artists here in the Philippines. I'm not saying that. I am saying that they're some of the best tattoo artists in the world are in Thailand. They are much better than the Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, lot. I'm telling you, they are some true, absolute artists over there. And if you want me to name one of the best tattoo artists in the world, his name is Big Man. Big Man Tattoo. He's located right off of Beach Road in Pattaya, not too far from Central. 
Look him up, Big Man Tattoo. And you can't miss him. He's the, probably the fattest Thai man you'll ever meet in your life. He looks like a Hawaiian guy, but he's Thai. When I saw that young lady's tattoo, I was already thinking in my head Thailand because of the quality of the work. And everybody's got an opinion. You may think, you know, uh, tattoo artists in the Philippines are better, and that I'm going to respectfully disagree. Thailand has got some of the most talented tattoo artists there they are, and they blow away any any tattoo artists I've ever seen here in the Philippines cannot compare to the folks over in Thailand. And that's my opinion. And again, when I saw that, I was thinking, you didn't get that here. I asked her, you know, it's a boo, but I already knew the answer. She didn't get that here. She got that shit in Thailand because it's jam up, jelly tight on time. If you're going to get a tattoo, don't get a tattoo in the Philippines. Last one. Now, folks, this, this, this video, because of all the great music in the background, I'm getting copyright claim. No money for the dog on this one. I don't give a shit, because they're playing some Alan Jackson on the box. I've seen that dog in concert so many times throughout the years. You know, one of the, that's, I say, I say there's only two things I miss about America, Bud Light and Chinese takeout, but I do miss all the country concerts, because I used to go to concerts all the time, every week. I do miss that too. So we're listening to some uh, jam up country music, and I'm going to tell you what happened. Let me tell you a little, tell you a little story. The, the gentleman that was sitting right there when we walked in, now he just left. He's pissed off. He was watching his fucking rugby game or whatever the fuck he was watching over there, right? He's watching this rugby football. I don't give a fuck about sports. So this gentleman was enjoying his day, just him and his lady, watching this fucking game, right? And he was the only dude here. So he, whatever, he can do what he wants, right? And we come in. We come in, we don't we don't rock the boat. We don't say nothing. We're just chilling, talking to this girl. The guy's still watching the game. Well, a few minutes later, in walks this old codger behind me right there. Okay? Let me make sure you see him. That dog walked in and he said, Hey, where the fuck's the music? guys, so we're the the girl's like, Well, he, uh, the game's on and this dude said ain't nobody watching that fucking shit cut some music on and they're like well that guy over there there is watching the game he said I don't give a fuck cut some country music on so he basically he basically pressured the chicks into cutting some music on which fuck I mean now we're listening to country music but the minute he did that that dude over there got pissed cause he can't hear the fucking game now me, me and my brother didn't have any dog in this fight we didn't say shit we're sitting here talking to the ladies we, did, we didn't do nothing but, but this old dude right behind me here he came in and said cut some fucking music on this is a bar and I love him he didn't back down well, that guy's watching. He's like, ain't nobody watching this shit. Cut some country music on. So that, that dude over there that was watching it, he just rolled out pissed off as a motherfucker because, I don't know, the game ain't over. But, hey, I'm just telling you a story of what happened. We didn't have nothing to do with it. It's still funny as fuck. And because of this guy, I'm listening to some great music, but my video is going to get demonetized with a copyright claim, but it was worth it. I don't give a shit. It was worth it. I'm listening to Helen Jackson, and this old dude right here didn't take no shit. He said, he said basically, this is a fucking bar. Cut some fucking music on. I don't give a fuck about who's watching that shit. Ah, I love this motherfucker. <laughs> was lost but now I'm found blind but now I see should have been a preacher yeah. friend Lee oh. Lee Leo folks Cole. I had a great time chilling with my oh, man oh, Frank here we from have Canada a, we have a hey I love a good and time and he is oh. rolling out I love this dog. He's rolling strong. <laughs> My friend, 
my friend, I will see you when I see you. Yeah. Folks, we had a great conversation. Pennsylvania, Canada, oh, up in the house. I like, I like that place very much. By way of Switzerland, my friends. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh yeah. These are the badass people. Oh yeah. That's it. <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> the old Germans. <laughs> we not, we not cut corners like this. We make rounds. <laughs> make it round. <laughs> make it round. <laughs> See, we don't, <laughs> we don't cut no corners. We just go <laughs> ahead and make it round. <laughs> no, no. What is, what's it called? Mennonite. Mennonite, yeah, yeah. And the Amish. Yeah, the Amish. That's right. Yeah. Pennsylvania, you think man. they're stupid? No, they're smart. Oh, sure. <laughs> Who has it. the beautiful farms? They you do. got it. They do. Oh. That's yeah. it. Got the beautiful not the, farms. Not the shit places. Yeah, they got nice no. farms. Right? They have the beautiful house. <laughs> they, have the, they have the good looking here. Too. <laughs> got the big boobies, too. <laughs> yeah, I like the big boobies. <laughs> and I, mean, I, I like two of them, they, too. They, they all come from Austria originally. Yeah. They're originally, Austria? they're originally from Austria. Yeah, Austria, German. Austria. All the Quakers up there. All of them. All the Quakers are originally from Austria, and yeah, they true. got big German. boobs. <laughs> and when I think about boobs, I prefer two of them. <laughs> no, no, not only one. one well, is I really prefer three. <laughs> you too, Frank. We'll see you, my bro my brother. And folks, that's a true legend right there rolling out, my man Frank. Folks, Frank is 70-something years old, and we just sat here and chopped it up like a motherfucking chef salad. I love that dude. He's originally from Switzerland. Uh, what do you say? Fuck, he's 78 years old. Lives in Canada. He's a logger. Got a wife from place here in the Philippines. Shout out to my man, Frank, dude. You're an inspiration to us all. Motherfucker, 78 years old, rolling strong in the fucking El Gecko bar. Chilling like a motherfucking villain. I want to say thanks for the beer you bought me, man. I'll never forget you, Frank. And if I'm ever in Dumaguete, I'm going to do my best to track you down, my brother. Folks, Frank the Tank in the flesh. Rolling out. God damn, what a great conversation about logging. About India, about pussies. There was all, and I'm, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about fucking weak ass motherfuckers, too scared to goddamn, you know, get in the fucking logging business because it costs too much fucking work. It's too hard. All right, folks, I gotta get back to drinking my beer, and then we're gonna rock it out to the next place on the agenda. But tonight, we got to catch the ferry up to Manila, so I can't get too fucked up. Even though I'm already fucked up like a yard rat. Like a three-story outhouse. Like a soup sandwich. Because I've been jet flying, limousine, riding, and women loving. Woo! Daddy, you messing with the nature boy. I wonder what the connection is here. All right, folks. Now we got a little CCR on the box. I had to get rid of that fucking boys to men, goddamn Celine Dion, fucking Backstreet Boys, fucking, I couldn't take none more of that shit. Now we got some real fucking music on here. For CCR, who stopped the rain? Have you ever seen the rain? Don't inhale that shit to give you a fucking lung cancer. <laughs> Just enjoy the taste of it. If it gives me tongue cancer, I'll cut half that motherfucker off and live another 10 years. But I can't cut half my goddamn lung out. Shit, can't breathe. 
Oh, they're playing this slow music. I told him either give me some music or a fucking knife because I got to end it somehow. And she said, how about YMCA? I said, bring it on. Bring it on, baby. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. I, I can't hear it. I, ooh, that beautiful girl. My goodness. I think I'm going to call this girl Pocahontas. She's like the Indian goddess that floats through your dreams. And all you think about is just shacking up with her in a teepee with a nice fire. Po- Pocahontas. I don't drink. I'm just wondering where where are you from, baby? I'm from my mom. Oh, got you. Roasted you, man. She don't roast the king because I can't be roasted, baby. I'm a fucking peanut that don't get roasted. Baby, can you play Highway to Hell by ACDC? Yeah, because that's what highway I've been on for fucking my whole life. Look at these beautiful girls, my friends. My good. We got, oh my goodness. We got this beautiful girl and we got Pocahontas over here playing me some Highway to Hell. Thank you very much, beautiful girl. I love you more than chicken and spaghetti. Oh, I love you more than Jollibee. Oh, shit, that's true love, my friends. That is true love. She loves me more than Jollibee. My goodness. That's all I can give you. Mm Mm-hmm. It is pandemonium up in the El Gecko. We got, oh, my goodness. We got Pocahontas. And I don't remember the rest of their names. I'm on the highway to hell. That's the fucking highway I've been on my whole life. So don't even ask me. Don't even pray for me and tell me to try to find Jesus because I'm not looking for that dude. Let him walk on his water, and I'm going to walk on mine. That's the way we're going to roll. Let me ask. What got going on over here? My goodness. Oh, shit. We got some more. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Baby, can you dance? You got some dance skills? Can I can I see can I see uh do you know how to cabbage patch? <laughs> Show us how to do it, Mark. You know MC Hammer? Ah <laughs> uh, shit. I don't know dance moves, what she knows. <laughs> Wait, where are you from? Baby, I'm from your dreams. <laughs> Ever since oh, you were I'm, I'm, I'm the dude that you've been dreaming about your whole life. And I'm here now. I'm proof that dreams do come true, baby. I'm originally from America. Where in America? Hollywood. Because I'm a movie star. Famous. You don't think so? He said. You don't think so? You're a painter knowing like this. It's up to you. I'm from California. I'm from California, Hollywood, on the Sunset Strip. Coming to you live from the Philippines, my friends. Baby, you're so beautiful. My goodness. But listen. Pocahontas. Pocahontas. My goodness, folks. Oh, my goodness. Well, oh, my goodness is over there. This is Pocahontas. What is your name? Marcos Pobre. La Singuero. Baba Erro Pate. Parihata. Walanga Noma. Walanga Tula. What a coffee cool. It seems like a coffee. Which one you like? I want you. Uh, ah, charot, charot, charot. Charot, charot. Folks, I'm hanging out with these beautiful ladies. It's a it's a fucking hard life. I got a sweet child of mine coming on the box. 
So attention YouTube, yeah. Do the fucking copyright claim. I don't give a shit about the money. I don't care. Fucking demonetize the video, cause I'm listening to Sweet Child of Mine with Pocahontas, and oh my goodness, me he reminds me of childhood memories. Kicking it, my friends. You got spotlight on this. Let's do it. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give If you really want to see some break dancing, I'm gonna show you the coffee grinder. What is a coffee grinder? Oh, that's a secret one. Oh. I show you the coffee grinder and the windmill. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, well, they, they want to see the gimme, gimme. They want to see the gimme, gimme. No, that's a, that's a girl does the gimme, gimme. I, why I'm gonna do it? Yeah, she gonna do the gimme, gimme. Get it, baby. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's hit it over here. Pocahontas, let's go. Give me, give me. You said give me or I give, give me, you. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I want to give a big shout out to my wife and my girlfriend and all my homies up in Manila. I'll see you soon, baby. I love you. But right now I'm hanging out with, oh, my goodness. I got Pocahontas over here. And I got Goldie Hahn right here, the movie star. Goldie, Goldie Hahn. Goldie Hahn. Spotlights on Goldie Hahn, spotlights on Goldie Hahn, my goodness. <laughs> Folks, don't don't even try to hate the player. This is the game I play. And I want to thank everybody for joining me here on my channel. Bottom right hand corner of the screen, click that overstay road sign. Get on board this motherfucking train. That's the way it's got to be. Alright folks, about to head out of the El Gecko. Because we are like already late getting back. We got a ferry to catch here in a few hours, but we said fuck it. We're gonna stay. Hello, beautiful. How are you? Oh my <laughs> goodness. So we we I, we got fucking fucked up here. Chatted with some cool dudes. Hung with some beautiful ladies. And again, come to El Gecko. Tell them Marco sent you. It's right across from the Iglesia Ni Cristo. Right there in the background, folks. So if you really want to, you can come get some Jesus and then come over here and get you a brew. And we're right across the street from Jollibee. So I want to thank everybody at the El Gecko. All my ladies here took care of us, our new friends and old friends. This lady walked in. I got a picture of me and her back in uh, 2013, the day before Yolanda hit. And she went upstairs. I didn't get to talk to her. I may have to come back after this food tent. We're gonna kick it to the food tent, folks. I wanna thank everybody for joining me on my channel, but it's time to step it out. Let's go get some food, my brother. Yep. Folks, we just pulled the trigger on two of the Rude Boy ribs right there. 155 comes with that right there. How you doing, my friend? You doing all right? That's a, it's a YouTube camera, baby. You're gonna be on YouTube. You're gonna be famous. All right. All right, folks, so 310. We got two of these meals right here with the Root Boy ribs, 155. He's got them on the grill over there. I got to get some food, but uh, or I got to get some money. So 310 for uh, two orders, nah, six bucks. All right, folks, look at them fucking ribs. A little piece of corn and some vegetables, rice, a little sauce. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tear this shit up. 